to put if I can put you on the spot here for for a little bit, Rich, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess worst case scenario is you can claim a technical glitch and just shut the computer down. But regarding movie stuff as well, I know uh, you talked about that a bit with uh, with Wendy. Um, that there's a uh, I guess a, a production company that's in the works. They're they're putting um, uh, some crew together, and I know there's there's a star to play Wendy who's been selected. Um, and, uh, and understandably, you couldn't really say much more than that. Has anything else developed in regards to that that you, you can't yeah, talk no, about? I can't or? really say anything other than just, and, and there's there's actually not a star in place. Um, oh, my mistake. Okay. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Me. Okay. Um, but uh, there's definitely a good production crew as far as, you know, producers and, and we've, you know, I should have news soon. I mean, I got an email from, from Steve's film agent just last week with an update about that. And, and yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it'll happen. It'll, you know, that's yeah. kind of how I look at it is, is, you know, people are like, my God, every, you know, the boogeyman from Steve is in production right now an old short story <laughs> and, and so many yeah. other things. And they're like, Wendy seems perfect. And I'm like, I think Wendy is perfect, especially for yeah. this time in the world. And, and 100%. these times here in this country. Um, and, and it's such a female centric story that I, again, I think it could be very powerful, but um, I've always just looked at it and I'm like, you know what, when it's time is right, it'll, it'll explode out there. And, and hopefully that's soon. I mean, it was a really positive update that we got last week. And yeah, um, I think good. we could, you know, we could see things in the press, you know, certainly by summer, I think um, about okay. it, but who knows, you know, I just, that's one of those ones where, yeah, I'm just kind of, laying back and waiting because i think you know i have a lot of belief that it, that it should happen and that it will uh, another guy out there who's making the waves in the gwendy verse is uh you know brian Keane. um right. you know i understand that he's working on some stuff as well uh is there anything that you can share with regarding uh regarding that and when we might be able to see something um, i know brian hasn't announced anything specifically as far as the what and the when but you know, there's a whole team in place for it with with Brian, you know, doing doing the writing part of it. And, um, you know, I've seen big chunks of the script, which is wonderful. Yeah. Um, we have an artist, a main artist who, who is wonderful. And again, she sent she sent an update probably as recently as two weeks ago. So, again, I think that's something that's going to gain momentum in the next few months. And, and hopefully, again, by summer, I, I think yeah. it could be an interesting summer for Gwendy. You know, a lot of stuff out there. But uh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'll let Brian, you know, say more about it when, sure. when we're all ready. But we've got a whole team in place. And uh, I, I think it's a natural for, you know, that kind of a graphic adaptation. And yeah. um, and the neat thing is, is now there's three books, you know, now there's a complete arc, but with plenty of holes to fill in, you know, with other people's imaginations. And, uh, you know, that that's something that's being discussed movie wise, too, is should it be you know, should the first book be a, a limited series and then, you know, the second book and then some creative, you know, Castle Rock type fill-ins the way that, uh, yeah. you know, Abrams did. So who knows, you know, but uh, there's a lot on the table and uh, it's exciting to, to kind of just sit back and watch it. Very much. And I could totally see that working. I could almost see that almost being a necessity to have, uh, you know, if you're going to go cinematic with us, with Wendy, to have it as a series because there's so many great, um, side trips that you could take that might not that would maybe come as a bit of a I don't know an interruption or an intrusion in an actual movie um, whereas in a series you could do a standalone episode of you know they're going over here and it ties in but not directly and then you can continue on with it in the next episode and it would all come together in the end without uh, feeling disjointed I think it would right and especially well. with the first book where she we show such a span such a range mm -hmm. of her age um you know the second book takes place in a in in a matter of a couple months yeah. uh, third book you know takes place in a matter of a couple weeks i think yeah. or a few weeks um where the first one you know we see her from what age 12 i think up until she graduates from college so yeah. it, it, to me that would be you know present some challenges as far as a, a single feature but you know that we're we have good people attached so it's kind of like i have faith in whatever they do but yeah ideally i would love to see you know, a limited series with future seasons um, until we get to, you know, the end of, of Gwendy's final task. And uh, I think with, with such a good team there in place, they could really fill in those gaps between book two and three and, and that kind of thing.